welcome to the 2015 North Texas Catholic Men's Conference. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you to Paul for his, I'm humbled by his words. And uh, if you do see him sometime today, shake his hand, give him a hug, and uh, tell him some appreciation for all the hard work he's done here. He's done uh, some great things. There's going to be uh, uh, some mighty good things going on today. Uh, so I'm excited and honored to be here. And uh, let me ask this question here. Uh, how many people out there, I'm going to start with this. How many of you out there have been at all four? Can you, can you, can you do me a favor, we're going to start with you and actually stand up if you've been at all four. Because I want to recognize you guys. All right, let's give them a round of applause, please. Some of them are the leaders that began it. You guys can go ahead and have a seat. These are the guys that keep taking the class over and over again. That's who these guys are. But here's the funny part. That's actually what we should be doing as well. You know what I'm saying? We should be taking it over and over again because that's the kind of folks that love Christ. I ran into a soccer coach one time. It was a select soccer coach and said, all the parents on the team, they're leaving and they're doing all these crazy things and they say they're Christians. I said, you've got the wrong definition of Christian. He says, what is it? I said, a Christian is, some, is someone who's in serious need of a Savior. And knows it. And these guys know it because they keep coming back and back again to, to strengthen their relationship with Christ. How many people, uh, how many guys out there at least got a chance to come last year? Raise your hand. That's a, that's a lot better. That's good. How many people, this is their first time? All right, that's what I'm talking about. Give those guys a round of applause. That's, that's significant because next year all of us are going to invite one more person, right? Let's bust out the doors on this. Let's get this even bigger than, than, than ever before. We have that chance. We have that opportunity to make a difference in the community, in the Catholic community, and in our community as a whole in this, uh, in this area if we, if we band together like this. Okay. Repeat after me. Raise your right hand. I state your name. Dedicate myself to be open to Christ and his message for me today. And to humble myself, and, humble myself. And, follow the the Spirit. and follow the leadings of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. It's just another way of praying. But we just, I just wanted to get you to, get you to do that because uh, we've got some, uh, I'm going to introduce the speakers and they're going to be passing some things by there. I want you to be open to that. Um, the speakers are really great. They're going to be passing some information by you. Now, if we were one-on-one, -on -one, you know, a little bit closer, more intimate situation, we would actually be running some information by you. Because when you're really close, uh, you, you run things. And when you're a little bit further away, you pass. You know what I'm saying? Some men don't know. Let me get that. Let's make sure when you're close to the goal, you run. <laughs> and when you're this far, you pass. So I just want to, some guys don't know that. So I just want to make sure we got that. Yeah, OK, I just want to make, because some men need to know that. Uh, and the reason I mention that is because it's football, because we'll yell and scream for people in tight pants and shoulder pads. I want you to do me a favor. Whenever the speakers do come up here, whichever speaker, we have some great speakers, would you mind standing and applauding? Because seriously, if Paul, the, the uh, Apostle Paul was coming in, we would be excited. We, we couldn't book him today. <laughs> but we've got some people that are not slight substitutes. They're fantastic, OK? Um, last year's conference was Iron Sharpens Iron. This year is uh, the, the sword of spirit, which is the word of God. You know, the secret of that is not going out and sharpening others. That's the first thing maybe we think of because we're guys going to go take action. What you're here to do today is to be sharpened. And that requires friction. And that requires heat. And there's going to be some speakers that are going to throw some heat at you. Okay? Uh, and then the sword of the spirit, the word of God, is... Uh, meant to go out and pierce some others and get that word of God to them, to share that with them. But it's got to first pierce us, right? Are you ready for that? That's what you're called to do. Men are called to sacrifice, to die for others. That's what we're going to do today. We've got four amazing speakers. Bishop Olson is going to be talking about discipleship, man dedicated to serving Christ. If we can follow his example, uh, that'll be fantastic. Um, then we have Father Larry Richards. Um, are you ready to get smashed in the jaw? Is anybody ready for that? Because uh, uh, ready or not, here he comes. He's going to be talking about spiritual practices to arm us in our spiritual battle. Uh, battle. What's that? Okay. What? Larry Richards. Sorry. 
Okay, who did that? Look, he's already, he's already down here. Did I tell you? He's already. Yeah. Um, and then our, fourth speak, our third speaker will be Tom Peterson of Catholics Come Home, who has some great, uh, produces some amazing videos that draw people back to the church, back to the faith, back into relationship with one another, with Holy Mother Church. Uh, they're amazing. And he's going to be uh, talking about our world needs Catholic heroes. Amen? All right. And then the, uh, the final speaker will be Michael Corrin. He's a uh, Catholic Canadian broadcaster. If you haven't had a chance to hear him, he is clear, direct. You know that politically correct stuff you hear from some folks? You, that's not what you're going to get today. You're going to get uh, uh, some great information with knowing the enemy. So, without further ado, are you guys ready? ready. Are you open? Yeah. Let's go. Come on. We, this, this community, this society needs you.